Hello and welcome to, well, just me talking about the Animal Crushing New Horizons direct. <laughs> I just really want to talk about it. It's just, there's so many things to say about it. It's, it's so, it's really good, okay? It's so good. So, um, I'm just gonna go through it and talk about some things. Not all of them, because then we, then we could be here all day. Because I'm very passionate about Animal Crushing, so... Yeah, let's just get into it, okay? Thank you for choosing the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. This is not the first time this I'm watching this. We here uh, I did record my re reaction because I, I knew Your I wouldn't be able to properly talk while I'm being count. so amazed. Because, oh, I love like bunny neighbors. eating that little icicle. No, don't talk about everything. We don't have time. Not long after your arrival, you and your fellow residents will receive an orientation session from the Nooking staff. Oh, one thing I noticed about the villagers you start off with. In the Treehouse gameplay, it was Forcia and Hamlet, I think. And in the second trailer, I believe it was the second trailer, uh, we saw Tammy and Bill. And in this direct, we have Cherry and Buck. I don't know if that's just a coincidence or not, because those are all Uchi and Jack villagers. Because that's actually interesting. I don't think anyone has mentioned that, but, I, but it would be a wild coincidence, but that's maybe that's maybe what we start off with. I'm not a big fan of them. Jacks myself have a little bit of history with them, always trying to move them out. <laughs> but um, there's a lot of Jacks I, I do like their sign off, so maybe, maybe this is my chance to befriend a, a jug villager a little bit better and um it's just gonna be kind of fun because if we start off with uchis and jug villagers that means they're probably gonna be a lot of people starting off with hazel <laughs> hazel the squirrel you know i think she's cute but i know a lot of people don't like her so that's gonna be fun good luck with that you guys if you hate her <laughs> i like her though i had her in my new leaf town but she was pretty great. She grew on me. Didn't like her to begin with, but you know. So that's also why I wouldn't personally reset for villagers, because that's just silly to me. I, I would reset for a map and native food, maybe. Probably, most likely. But not for villager. If, if I don't like them, I'll just move them up in the corner of the map or something. Or, or I'll just maybe they'll just grow on me. Which is more likely, honestly. But... Yeah, I don't think it's a big deal, but it's it's interesting because I, I don't think, I don't think that has been mentioned. But if you start off with a jug and Uchi every time, that's kind of limiting. But also, I don't know. They seem they seem like the types of villagers that would be more likely to start off a crazy, crazy island life, while the other personalities would rather do it. For example, Peppy would rather do it if it's more popular and. Snooty's maybe not really like the wilderness kind of thing, but whatever. <laughs> Let's just move on. I love that you can sure you can move. decide where they want to live. That's awesome. Place for their new lives as well. Hopefully, you'll agree that cooperation between residents can be pretty fun. Okay, I'm so glad we can place furniture outside. It's just something I always wanted to do, especially after the Welcome Amiibo update in New Leaf. We got so many outdoorsy items at Harvey's car Carbon? At Harvey's Cabin, and we were just not able to put them outside. I don't know if that was something they kind of wanted to implement in New Leaf with the update, but it, I don't know. Because it's just kind of weird we got all these outdoor items and we, we, we can't put items outside, guys. What do you want me to do with this? <laughs> I was kind of scared that it was going to be limiting because we, we haven't got, uh, prior to direct, we didn't get a lot of items in one place. Um, but, uh, I don't think it's going to be, if it's going to be limiting, it's not going to be a big problem because the clips later in direct, they're so packed with items, so looking forward to that. Also, I love the little, is that something you can craft right now? There's a little, um basket with different fruits. It knew if you could put fruits in baskets, but not together with um, 
with all the fruits. So that's interesting. Maybe you can craft a little fruit basket. That's cute. So I guess all these items here are something you can craft. Since this is like in the crafting section. Because it's cute. It's cute items. Look at white. Stop by our customization workshop where you can learn skills like changing the color of. Okay, so I hope a lot of items can be customized. And if not a lot, then maybe. I hope there's a way you can tell which items can be customized. It's just nicer when you know what items can be customized and what items cannot be customized. I don't think all items needs to be customized. It looks like you need something to be able to customize it. Like some kind of little paint thing. There's a brush on it or something. I don't know what it is. It looks like a washing machine. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> but it's, I don't think it's, it's not a washing machine obviously. It's some kind of paint and a little ducks. I hope it's not something that's too annoying to obtain because I love customizing. I want to I wanna customize everything. <laughs> um, one thing I'm a bit worried about is when I look at this, it doesn't seem like I can use clothing to customize thing. I mean, clothing, fabric, you could do that in New Leaf. I really like doing that because it really saved me space because you had to keep your um, designs. You can have eight designs at a time. But if you want to do a lot of customizations and stuff, it's, that's, a little, that's a little limiting, but... Oh, I really hope you can still do it, but I don't think so. ...of your DIY furniture or decorating them with your own custom design. Okay, so... What? Look at how the designs look on this bed. You see this one? Uh, no, this is this one. This one with the, with the palm, right? Look at that here, how pixel it is. Look how not pixel it is here. There's another shot of it later, the palm here, on a little island. We can see it later, it and I'll nice. show you. Because that's something that really amazed me. Can you turn Maybe that around? Look, it doesn't look pixely at all. I don't know how they did it, but it looks it looks really great. It looks a little, a little chunky, but, you know, it looks great. It's not pixel at all. It really feels like it suits the environment or suits the game. It's not just pixel on... I mean, pixel style can be cute, you know? But this is really great. I love it. I know it's just a small thing to appreciate, but damn, I like it. Whoa, what? Hold on, past Jay Z. Is that the science with transparency? This is good. You know why? In past games, you couldn't add transparency to your designs. And since you had to draw the grass on the designs, it wouldn't always match with the seasons, you know? Because the the grass always change color, so this is really good. I'm particularly interested in this clover design, since weeds seem to grow in this one. And if you want a clover path, this is a pretty good option. Because you don't have to draw the grass and worry about it looking funky in other seasons. This is quote unquote game changing. I just need to point that out. Moving on. The airport is good for more than trips through the sky. It also offers Sending posts is a little expensive in this game, but if bells are easier to come by, I wouldn't really mind. Also, no post office. Does that mean no pilly in the game? Because I don't really know. I have a bit mixed feelings of, of the post office. I don't know if I'm happy or not about this. Oh well. Although your Nook phone has a map application, it's theoretically possible you could get lost or find yourself unable to move forward. In situations like these, it's best not to panic. Instead, simply use the rescue service. You'll be transported somewhere cozier in no time. I think the point of the rangers here is if... I, it's not really been shown yet, but I think your tools can break. And if you are, like, caught somewhere, like on your island and can't get back to your house. Um, that might be a problem. So, this is for if, if you get stuck somewhere, I guess. And that's probably Rossetti helping you out, I don't know. I hope we get to see him though. That would be nice. But I wonder if, um, if you can also use this service on a mystery tours because that would make more sense maybe because... I don't know. It can happen a lot of weird things there. Maybe you have a tool to break there too and you can't get home. See, that's something else. But it, you could always just 
save and quit? No, because it auto saves. So that means you don't start with your house every time. I don't know. They're mystery tours, so to speak. These far off destinations are small deserts. These are pretty cool. Full of trees and flowers. I hope they are very course, different every time. Because that will be fun to explore, you know? I wonder if you can invite the little uh, peep, uh, the little people, islanders, on um, the tour's home to you. Because they look like they don't have a home, they're just out here. Like, I know they, they are on the tour themselves, but they're just here with a little campfire and then they're like, the, the, poor them, you know? Don't you want to invite them home? Maybe you can. I don't think, I'm not sure. Don't think you can, but it would be cute, wouldn't it? The service lets you scan QR code patterns of custom designs. With such a tool, you can use your smartphone's camera function to scan the QR codes of custom designs created in the Animal Crossing New Leaf or Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer games. And then download them via Nook Link. This uh, is a really good way to get around the whole thing and we can't scan QR, QR codes directly from the switch. I'm really happy and hopeful about this. Also, this looks like we have a lot of space here for the signs, so that's also really good. Sadly, my own phone can't run any app at all, so I'll have to steal someone else's and use it for that when I want to get the signs. Not steal, borrow, of course. <laughs> no stealing here. We're planning to invite more animal residents to come live here. So, um, here Tom Nook says we are gonna get three potential new islanders. So, I was wondering if all three of them are gonna live there, or maybe I hope we kinda are shown these three random villagers and we can, like, appeal to one of them and ask them to move in. Um, so in case you don't like two of them, you can always pick the third one. Of course, if you're piggy as all hell and don't like any of them, maybe you can get to reset and we will re-roll them or I don't know, just deny all of them, but that seems that seems a little rude, in my opinion. <laughs> also, we have so many opportunities to also ask villagers to get over here apparently. With amiibo card and the you know, the campsite all. But yeah, I was just wondering about that. Your space carelessly. As such, we've secured this land in advance. This. I love how close to the water you can put the freaking house. Did you see how close to the water that was? That's crazy. Can you only invite animals to your campsite by amiibo? Because that's that's not... I don't like that. I don't have any amiibo. Maybe they're tourists coming to your island visiting sometimes. I love the, the pixelated flag. It so, looks so good. It doesn't look pixelated at all. It looks like a little, it's a little rough, you know? But it's still, it's still so nice looking. I love the fact that you can move the shops and your house and whatnot. I hope that you can also move the villager houses, but I think that's that makes sense. Because in New Leaf it was always a problem because sometimes you feel like you want to make one kind of singer and then you change your mind. and It also doesn't make sense with all the customization and the terraforming. If you don't know about that, I'm sorry to spoil you, but there's terraforming in this game. So it wouldn't make sense that you can't move your things. So I hope you can also move villager houses. It seems it's so, it's so weird that you can do that, but freedom. Absolute freedom, and I love it. Because there's so many so many times in my new live town, I, I set up my campsite, a place I don't really, I'm not too happy with. I set up my cafe, a place I don't like. I wish I could move my villagers because they... <laughs> Move them in unfortunate places, but I love them, so I would move them out forcefully. So that's that's just this is gonna be such a good game. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a little hyped. Also, this bell's gonna be there. But of course, all of us who follow the news like crazy people, we had known that for months. I kind of hope one of the apps in the new app is um your catalog, cause. I really want to access the um, catalog easily. Also, check if like an item is a special item and you don't want to sell it because that's that's always been so annoying. Um, not knowing whether an item is a special item that you can't get back and selling it by accident because that happens sometimes, you know. So that would be really nice if you could access that from your Nook phone, but I'm not sure. 
I really love this feature, <laughs> okay? So, people like JT from the Bitbug have only pointed this out, but I really hope that you can apply designs as paths this way. It would make the paths look really good, like they're really a part of the world. Also with the um, non-pixely style, it would just be really good. It would look very much better than a new leaf, I think. And if you don't want that, you can just you could still do it the old way, um, as it showed early in the video. In addition, we can also provide you with a permit that allows you to undergo major construction on the terrain itself. The construction permit? Oh my god. Where do I even begin Including with this? Rivers? This was the most shocking thing ever. I don't think anyone, nobody predicted this. If you predicted that, I'd like to see that first buff, but damn. This is... <laughs> I can't even talk, it's amazing. This is like creative freedom overload. They didn't need to add this, but they did. And it's, it's so amazing. I'll just, I want to make waterfalls all over the place. <laughs> was probably a bad idea, but yeah, damn. I'll still reset for a map because don't think I'll be going too crazy with this because then I'll just destroy everything. But I can't wait to see other people what they do with this because, wow. And you can see there's three layers of this town, so you, can you make a fourth layer? It's crazy. I don't even know. I never expected this. I was so shocked when I saw this. Across the island, make the most of them. Oh, love. Also, one thing I love, all the villagers, they seem so alive. They're always doing something. So cute. Make your island your dream home. I'm gonna make my dream home, okay? You sold me already. Huh. It's As really we today, are being spoiled. It's amazing. Offers you a wild new life. So okay. This hasn't been shown. How we can move rocks, the small runs, the same way that you can move trees, because it wouldn't make sense otherwise. Because then why can you terraform? You, that doesn't make sense. You have to be able to move everything. I love the tree moving feature though. I hope we can move the rocks as well. What kind of life do you want to live? All of it. You can communicate with friends or players not registered as friends using temporary passwords. The, the temporary passport thing is pretty cool. Just want to put it out there. This thing is also pretty awesome. So if you have friends who are kind of like trucks, you can just say, fuck no, you cannot use the axe on my island, what are you thinking? Like getting some arguments with people who you consider your close friends, but who cares? I'm gonna get my hands on this thing. I'll visit my prayer. It says I can pick it up on the 19th, but I don't believe that. I think they're lying to me. I'm scared it's gonna be late, so... If I'm late to New Horizons, you know why. It's because this thing didn't get to me in time. Ah, <sighs> Looking forward to this game, so am I. What I absolutely love is that you can play any way you want. Have your island stay that deserted kind of feel, all nature-y, with a few, few items outside, few paths, maybe some kind of enchanted forest feel. You can do that, or you can make like, oh, super cute town if you want and that's, that's that's so good i was always hoping that we would get like a big information drop um maybe not necessarily in, in form of a direct but people keep complaining that we're not getting enough information there you go take that <laughs> i'm just so glad these weeks are gonna rush by i promise you it will be so good it'll be worth the wait it will be worth the delay this would be good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed me rambling, and thanks for listening. I also hope to see you again soon, and I can't wait to welcome you to my island in New Horizons if you'll be there.